Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a what's in my planner pouch. So yes, I consider this a planner pouch <laughs> and not an actual pen case because this is enormous. So this is actually in a medium. I mean, M is for medium, I'm imagining. I thought it was a large for some reason over the years. It just seems so huge. I was thinking it was a large, but it says medium. What is a large? Because there are the dimensions right there in millimeters. And this thing can hold a lot, as you will see when we open the inside. So this is the um, Utility Pouch by Delphonics, and it's in the white and navy stripe, and it's so, so beautiful. I have also in the past purchased a um, strap here that you can just clip on or hook on rather right here on these little loops on either side and you can carry it like a bag. I like to do that when I'm on the go. Um, I like to just sit this in the passenger seat with me. So recently, uh, whenever I've been waiting on Jade to get out of practices or um, from school, I can just sit there and I can do like maybe 15 or 20 minutes, depending on how early I get there, of planning or journaling. And also like when my sister has a doctor's appointment and I'm waiting on her, I get some work done. So this is really really nice. There is a lot in here, like I mentioned. The fun part about this is putting a bunch of pens on here and it makes it look like you have all of these really cool, interesting goodies, but I don't have anything new in here that you haven't seen before. I know some people do, but I'm just carrying stuff that I already own and you've probably already seen. Not just on my channel, but like on everybody's channel because I'm basic like that. So <laughs> There is that. So before we open this, let's just start in the back because I feel like the things in the back are probably the most boring anyway. So there are two pockets. You have a longer pocket and a more narrow pocket here. And in this section, I usually keep either my correction tape in the color cream or I keep a tape runner and currently this is the winner. In the smaller pocket, I just keep some bits of ephemera that I might want to put in with my journaling. So these are washi, no, they're not washi stickers, that's a lie. These are stickers that are faux Polaroid style, and I love them. They are um, opaque, so they're not like a washi sticker that um, is somewhat transparent, but I love these. I think they're beautiful. They're really simple and easy and they fit in a passport sized page or even an A6 sized um, pocket page for my look term if you guys remember me having that bullet journal. So these are really, really nice and I always keep them on hand. In this larger uh, pocket here, it does have closure here. And I just keep usually my phone in here, which I don't have currently because I have it on the side. I just shove it in like this if I need to take it in if I'm going in somewhere. And then I have this plastic little, it's like, sometimes they have like a little zipper on them and sometimes they don't. I usually get these from your Creative Studio subscription box. They'll come with like stamps or something in there. And I just have some more ephemera that's kind of loosey-goosey and I don't want to put it in a pocket that way. So these are some of the washi stickers I like because they're slightly transparent. And these are the ones that I'm currently using in my planners for the month of September. And then I have this. I didn't want to lose this. I lost this at the beginning of the year. This is from one of the local print shops in Colorado where I live and um, they sell them at like independent bookstores and other little shops on Main Street and so I have this and I thought if I got another A6 bullet journal this would be the one that goes on the cover and I didn't want to lose it so I keep it in here <laughs> whenever that's going to be which is probably soon because I like to change things up. This is just a piece of cardstock that has a design on it and it has a little bit of a gloss on it so I keep some of these stickers. You remember this calendar that I ended up buying from Jet Pens? I've enjoyed it, but I don't think I'll get it again because it was around 30 bucks. I mean, it's lasted all of this time, which is awesome. Um, if you wanted to print those out, who knows how much they'd all cost you to print out 365 days, but um, I really did use them, even though I stopped using them in my other planner. What was it? The uh, Jibun Techo Days. I ended up giving the other six months um, selling that rather when I sold some of my covers. So I keep those on here because they stick okay to this. 
I also have some tabs underneath that have writing on them and I just keep them on here as well as some paper clips in case I need them. And that's really everything I keep in the back. Since I keep this pretty full, um, there's not a lot of room for stuff here. I know if I kept less on the inside, I'd be able to pack the back. Now on to the front, we have my Sarasa clips in a 0.5 and these are two different sets beautiful beautiful pens I love them I love the way they write and currently I'm using them because they work really well on the uh, moleskin paper and I decided to go back to them and so for the month of September I'm using this camel color one which is my favorite and you can also buy the individual ink cartridges if you run out from jet pens over here I have the <laughs> Um, mild liners that I'm using currently and they are in the neutral set and I don't have the dark brown one because it was throwing me off it was too dark so I left that one out I also have another Sarasa pen in a 0.4 this is called the mark on pen so this is supposed to dry very quickly so that you can go ahead and use it with highlighters I just have a few clips here in case I need to clip down a page or you know usually when you have a traveler's notebook sometimes you have to clip down the insert so it won't keep popping up and hitting you when you're trying to write so I have a couple of those in case I need them these are move that out of the way for a moment um, a collage that you can buy I think I bought this from Amazon Japan you can usually find the same things on Amazon um, in the US but I bought these on Amazon Japan and there was a set I think of 50 they are very matte so they don't have the glossy finish and I actually just bought them to put in my bullet journal kind of like for cover pages or if I wanted to write a little um, story and I needed a prompt so they're just sort of a little bit of beautiful and it was pretty cheap and inexpensive especially if you don't have a colored printer this is a nice way to get um, some pictures into your journals and then in the other long pocket here I just have these and I ended up getting these from Amazon I think US but you can get them from Japan as well and these are just page flags and I like these ones because they're they're gridded so it's easier for me to write a straight line which is very nice and I liked the colors they're very muted and this is just another clip in case I needed to have another uh, paper clip. I just keep it closed like this and I can always use it in my planner or my journal if I need to. Now on to the inside and one of my favorite things about this specific pouch. It has this gorgeous pop of color on the inside and it's this brilliant like royal blue. I love it so much. So on the inside here I have more pens. Of course I do. <laughs> So the pens that I keep on the inside, this is a um, ballpoint pen, so sometimes this works really great, especially when you're using it on Tomoe River paper, and I do use it sometimes in my Hovenichi. Then I have a pencil for drawing layouts and such things like that. I have my point four, and this is the, um, what is it called, the point knock. I love this, this is the biz. And of course, I've shown this pen before, but if you get really close up and it will focus. All right, so if we can get this pen to focus, you can see that it's not actually a pearl color. It's actually white and it's marbled with slight gray in there. And it kind of makes it look kind of like a pearl color. And then it has rose um, gold as well. So it's so pretty. I love that pen. And also you can get this from, I think Tokyo Pen Shop sells them and you can find them on Amazon. Another mild liner, so this one is gray, but it's a slightly different color. So one is a little bit more blue toned. We have a 0.5 Sarasa in black. Now this one does come with a uh, black, but I tend to use it a lot, so I have an extra one in case I need it. I love my black pens, and I feel like you can never have enough, so there's that. We have the Uniball Signo in a 0.8, and if you've been following my channel, this is a beautiful silver that just has this nice pop on camera, and even just in real life, and I like to use like lines um, for that. Then we have the Uni, and this is the Jetstream, and I believe that people mentioned that this is a hybrid pen, 
so part ballpoint, part gel, and this is like the type of pen they give you um, free, which you probably isn't free, you probably pay for it. With your Hobonichi, they say it's free. <laughs> um, not this one particularly, I got this one from, again, Jet Pens. You can get them in a bunch of different styles and colors and sizes. Um, this one happens to be a multi-barrel in three, but I think I have a four and maybe even a five. So this one is in a 0.5. I know what you're thinking, you're like, but Sylvia, I thought you hated those pens. I do, but sometimes I like to write, free write in the back pages here, and I'm not going to show anybody that because it's my own personal writing, and so this pen is just really quick to use without any smearage, and that, you know, just makes me feel better about life. This is my Mickey Mouse uh, <laughs> friction pen in a 0.5. I don't remember where I got this from. It could have been Jet Pens, it could have been Tokyo Pen Shop, or even, you know, Amazon Japan. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. I love it. And the great thing about this is, I believe, yeah, it's a 0.5, but since 0.7 and point, um, three eight, which is my favorite, are the same little cartridges, these small ones. You can get them in that size. Um, you can put them in here, and it doesn't matter that it's a 0.5, so I really love that. So if you wanted to, you could be like 0.38, 0.5, and 0.7. Then, um, so we have two pockets here, right? And in this last pocket on this side, I have, make sure there's nothing else in there. I just have some sticky notes. This comes in a beautiful set with a bright green um, and a beautiful kind of like uh, blue jean blue. It is so stunning. And I like it because it has lines, so I don't have to worry about writing straight. <laughs> I have my Hobonichi stencil. The green one is probably my most used and most favorite. Then I have the Hobonichi Weeks stencil. This is my second favorite one. I really love the numbers on here because they're teeny tiny. Then I have the green one by Jibun Techo. I also have the orange one, and I must have put it up somewhere because I can't find it, but usually it's in here. So anyway, <laughs> then we have my last three pens, I think. Yeah, that's true. So this one is a Friction Ball Slim in a 0.38. So recently I realized that my beautiful um, Friction Ball Biz 2 is missing. I think it's not missing. I think it's just lost, which hurt my whole soul. So I went on this mission to find a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up also buying a new planner, my first planner of 2023, which you will see when it comes in. I know, I know. But I did end up getting a, a new Biz 2 in a 0.38, and that is in white. It's so beautiful on Amazon Japan. So for right now, I'm using these skinny ones. I don't particularly like them because they are too skinny for me to hold because I write for long periods of time. So I do have one of these grips on here and if I can find the link, I bought these on Amazon, I will link them down below. You can get them in black and in white and they have this really cool um, feature where this side is wider and this side's more narrow so if you needed it to be more narrow you can just flip it around. So I really like that. Then we have the Energel Clinia, which I really do love. This one says it's in a 0.3, but again, you can change it out for a cartridge that's 0.4 and I believe 0.5. I don't know if it comes in a 0.7 because I never look for the bolder um, ink cartridges. Then I have another gray, I know, because gray is kind of like black, you can never have enough. But this one is a little bit different because not only, like those two were different colors. This one, and this one are two different colors. This one's probably the same color, yeah, as this one, but this has a brush tip. So I've talked about having really huge handwriting, and so this allows me to cover all my handwriting in one, one swoop, whereas this one, sometimes I have to go over twice, and then I end up risking smearage. So I prefer to use this whenever I can. All right, and the last things in here, on this side, are. I love this eraser. This is my favorite eraser. I always buy um, multiples of these because you can get them in packs of like three or four um, during this time of year, um, beginning of school year. So I bought a new pack of these. I just love this eraser. I just think it erases without any fuss or muss. And then I have, of course, two things of post-its. I like these smaller post-its. They're my favorite, especially when I'm using them in the Hobonichi because they don't take up too much space and it allows you to um, add on more information for that week 
without you know running out of space so I appreciate these things and I think these ones I don't know these might be the ones you get from the dollar store so they're a little bit more narrow they're not the traditional size um I couldn't say because sometimes I cut these down to make them smaller <laughs> um and these are actually like a yeah they're like a light green and you can't tell they just maybe possibly on the monitor it look like they're white but I do love these and I pick up post-its whenever I can because I use them like crazy and the last thing is this this is a ruler you guys have seen this before and it unfolds and it's also a magnet so you can keep it on a couple of pages it's not crazy strong but if you wanted to mark your place you certainly could do that with this and it just fits on the top which I don't have a planner right now but imagine this is your pages you just put it on the top like this and close it and be able to find it just like that. So I really do enjoy this because it does fold out and it can be longer if you need it to be. And also I got this from Jet Pens as well. I mean, man. And then the last thing in the bag are my planners. And y'all have been seeing these throughout this year of 2022 in case you're watching this in the future move those out of the way so that my camera has less things to focus on <laughs> the Hobonichi I have a love-hate relationship with this thing um I go back and forth am I going to use it am I not going to use it I have it kind of prepped for this coming week um this was last week we're currently on Sunday so I, I really don't know I really don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, I might do some memory keeping in here where I just write a few lines of what happened for the day. I can extend that out here or do some collaging. Um, in the past, I've used these for like a writing, not a writing, excuse me, um, a reading notebook where I would write down a few things, um, jot down maybe a quote or something that I really liked in the book. So this is just kind of chilling out possibly potentially being my memory book for the rest of September for the month of September and then we have my Moleskine this is a weekly has the same kind of layout as the Hobonichi but it is an A5 size so the monthly I don't think I even showed you guys because it wasn't that serious I had already preset it up for writing and remember I switched to try to do an everyday carry with this planner to see if maybe that would work better for me so I mean look how tiny this is it's like the dumbest monthly ever and it's actually I believe even smaller than the Hobonichi potentially possibly you can see it here Yeah, it's smaller than the Hobonichi. It's just ridiculous. And I don't know why. I get that this is called the weekly and not the monthly because they do have a monthly, but I still feel like they should make ooh, I still feel like they should make the monthly a two page spread instead of one because it's just kind of stupid anyway. <laughs> so I kind of use signifiers and color code things, and again I'm using my Sarasa pens in the point five on this. For the wiggly that I set up, I was not happy that I used the brown because it's very harsh. It's definitely not forgiving at all. <laughs> so I went back and for the week that's coming up, I used a lighter color. This is in that same set. I believe it's the lightest one. It's like a peachy tone color. So it doesn't come off like pop at you, but it's nice enough that I can see like there is a distinction between this category in this category if that makes sense and I am currently using my little sticky notes in here like I do my Hobonichi so this just has all of the books that are either books that Jade and I are reading currently or that are on deck to be read soon which means tomorrow I get to use this and again I am using the Sarasa pens in here and this color right here is camel and I thought man I should have just used these instead of <laughs> the darker color but I just left it anyway it is what it is and for the rest of the time I'm just going to use the Sarasa pens in here and they work really well they don't bleed or ghost very much at all so that is all set up and we're moving on to my Loic term so the Loic term you guys have seen but I did add one extra thing this is how my monthly looks for September and I added these little J's in here for days that Jade has games and I actually have this in my other planner but um, 
you know, because it's supposed to be my writing planner, but I just wanted to remind myself, hey, if I didn't write too much that day, it's because I was concerned about the sitting time I had, because I had to go sit for volleyball, which sometimes if you win one game and the other team wins another game, you have to play three games, and that's a lot of ridiculous volleyball and sitting. So anyway, I'm a basketball person. <laughs> I put my mother's birthday here, because clearly I will be busy that day. I tried to use my correction tape here it kind of looks botched but basically I was using um one of my friction pens and I got some kind of pencil or gunk on here and it was just spreading everywhere and it wouldn't erase and I was really sad so I tried to cover it up a little bit I'll probably end up putting a sticker it's not that serious but I was super annoyed here is what this week is looking like and you've seen this again I did a whole video um, talking about this and it looks really nice again this is just for my writing it's not going to be my everyday carry or my planner um, for anything but writing right now but I also wanted to try something else out so this is new and again this is why I got rid of that brown I was like it's too dark and it's not forgiving at all <laughs> so this is the style of planner that I ended up getting um, it's coming in the mail so it won't be here for like another week or so but it basically has a section up here and you could pretty much call this either a vertical or you could call it a horizontal so it doesn't go all the way down like a vertical does and it gives you all of this space down here to plan and do whatever you want and I thought that was really cool it also comes with monthlies so um, I'm really excited about that planner and again I'll do a review because it's the first time I've ever owned one when it gets in. Now you guys know that I specifically <laughs> appreciate this type of layout especially with the Hobonichi but um, I wanted to try this out. It's a little bit different and why not? I, I live and die by my weekly. That's what I've learned. I'm not really a daily kind of a girl but give me a weekly and I will be a happy camper. So yeah I'm gonna try this out and you, you can see or if you yeah, so I'm going to try this out, and if you noticed, it's exactly the same week, which is week 35, and here's week 35 again. So I didn't want to try to wait until the week after. <laughs> I just decided I would fill out this week, and then I would pull from here and fill it out to see how it would look over here. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know why I've never just done this in my bullet journal before. I kind of like this layout. I've just, I guess, never thought about it until... I bought the planner and I was like, hmm, maybe I should have tested that out before I bought it. But yeah, right. It was definitely a FOMO buy. My trigger finger was definitely <laughs> acting up. I mean, we'll go more into that when it gets here. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be trying out for the week, week 35 of the year. And that is everything that I keep in my planner pouch. So I'm definitely excited that this thing is big enough to house an A5 like term, 1917. So if you are interested in A5, it certainly could fit that in there. Now, most of us know that the Japanese A5 or Asian A5 in general is usually a little bit wider than the Leuk term A5 so it would still fit in here I believe if you ended up purchasing one of these medium pouches and then of course it fits the moleskin in it because it's more narrow than the Leuk term by about that much if you can see there and of course the Hobonichi fits in here so for those of you who are wondering yes the standard traveler's notebook does fit in here I'm not sure I'm I'm imagining the wide wood depending on how like how much you put in it but I think my wide would fit in here certainly and that is everything I will put the rest of the stuff back on camera because you're not watching to see that all right so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope that this was helpful thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye